Mega Shed Diary, 7th of April 24. It's really windy. Just about to go to noise testing. First race weekend on the Mini Twin SV650. And I'm here at Mallory Park at Emra. And the weather is wild. It is gusting 45 miles an hour. Track is dry, but it keeps spitting and the forecast is to stay fairly dry but possibly rain about three o'clock uh, it is now about quarter to nine um first session's not until for me for qualifying is about half past nine hopefully it'll stay dry for that i've got the bike ready tire warmers on and wets ready if i need them i'm on my own at the moment so I've got a gazebo, but I've not even bothered putting it up because it's so windy. I can't be arsed with it. Well, I'll do some footage of my qualifying session and I'll do a catch up lunchtime. Mega shut out. And here is the qualifying lap. Uh, in sixth and then down to fifth garage. Took me in, still a little camp on the inside. Maybe with the blue light curve on the exit and then drifting out to the left. Down the straight in the fifth and then break in for the turning point there at the entrance road. And second out of there into third and then fourth, right for the exits. On the power, just missing the curb on the left and breaking halfway down the straight here. Close to the hairpin as you can. And the power in second. Breaking into the left. Trail braking. Quickly left. Into the devil's elbow. Short shift in the fourth. And then letting the drift wide to the right. And pulling it back for the next lap. Uh, update on the qualifying. Um, I, I'm 17th out of 24 on the grid, and that, but that's a mixed grid of Super Twins and Mini Twins, and I am um, in class, 8th in class. Uh, I was quite pleased, I was just ahead of the guy who I was about fairly close to uh, last season. Um, however, bad news is, it is just started raining, so the proceedings have been halted for about half an hour as uh, embarrassingly the recovery truck got stuck on the grass at Gerard's um, so there was a bit of a 40 minute delay so I'm not I'm just sort of watching the weather now to see what uh, happens with the rain and see whether I'm going to change over to wets or not uh, see how the first race goes and I'll update you later here we go start for race one Really poor start. My target for this race was the orange bike. You can see is three bikes in front of me. Um, I actually qualified ahead of him, and he got a great start. Uh, the other two bikes in front of me, I think, are in super class. So it was the orange one I really wanted to catch. So that's the first race start I've done since last year. The bike that's just come past me with the red and black and white leathers is also in Super Twin class. I worked out that that's Steve Haig. Uh, it's actually entered as a Mini Twin on the timing sheet, but uh, I had a look at it and it uh, looks like it's a Gen 1 SV650 uh, with GSX top front end on it. So I'm not doing a great job of catching the orange bike here. I'm following closely behind the guy you can see. He's leaving me on the straight, so that is an R7, the one that's closest to me. Uh, it's Gary Broughton on uh, Yamaha R7. So, yeah, this bike here with the it's got the orange on the back and the blue bike. I'm surprised to catch him around Gerard, so I'm actually faster on the front, but he seems to have the power on the straights. Just say this is a, he's a super twin class, but I wanted to catch him on all the same. Um, 
an engine away from me on the power. So yeah, I wanted to catch Garrett's on the orange bike. He's getting in the way and getting away. I'm going to look up the inside there. Hairpin. Alongside, but not close enough to make it pass. See again, I've made up a good quarter of a second around Gerard's there. Again, looking alongside to see if I can get past into the next corner. Breaking on that white line, that's a breaking marker for Edwin Chain. Right on it again, and then he just pulls away on the power. Now, if you look at the lap timer that's on the handlebars there. Uh, you see the green lights on the side of it, uh, just to explain to anyone who's uh, not used to lap timers. Um, I have that set up so each one of those green lights indicates uh, two tenths of a second. And it's currently recording what my expected lap would be based on my current speed position, based on the fastest lap of this session. So you can glance down during the race see it just flashed right there and went off as I went across the finish line uh, so it will bring up what your uh, time was for that lap and then it starts again and as you can see there it's got me two to six tenths Garrett just has a quick look over his shoulder to see who's, who's chasing him there. And he's comfortably away on the straights again. Uh, if I'm going to catch him, I'm going to have to really do it on the brakes. Coming into the hairpin on lap 5 to the yellow flag waves. So, Barry slows down a bit and I shall take the, take the advantage to get as close as I can to it. See anything on the track there. Uh, so I've got my scared head. Coming down the straight for the sixth time. See a puff of smoke and a bike going tumbling end over end there. I'm uh, thinking that looks like a red flag situation to me, but. I keep on the power until someone puts one out and you'll see that that happens quite quickly and yeah you see the red flag there into the head so off the power race stops and then you just see what happens next. So marshals come running out into the track to stop us. I'll stop there and this is to let, get, let the ambulance go out. Um, unfortunately that chap that came off was uh, quite seriously hurt. Uh, a chap had leg tears and several ribs. So they roll us back onto the start and say there's going to be another five lap race. Um, so we all get there and then just look what happens. Two men who will see the arms start waving at the front. The rain starts to come down, you can start to see it on my screen now. And everyone's pointing to the sky and look what their hands up here. Yeah. Uh, um, I, oh, I don't fancy going out in that. And it just absolutely tipped it down for like 30 seconds. But it was wet enough for them to just call the, call the race off. So we had the six lap red flag race. And on to the next race where I get a better start. Let me see the results here. Not what I've liked. Oh, I'm Phil Joyce, by the way. So, yeah, eighth in class mini twin. Fortunately, James Nagy was the faller. So, race two. Much better start this time, and I'm on the orange bike, I'm trying to keep with Gary as much as I can. Absolute carnage at the start, again that um, super twin 
comes past me Steve Haig with the black and red leathers there uh, but I've still got the orange bike inside nice little crackle from us going into it we inside crowded now. I used to make up a bit of time into Gerard's. A nice little move coming up from Gareth Rose on Steve Haig here. Uh, coming into Edwin is on the inside and through. Well done, Gareth. I'm just going to try and stay with him. Well, made up some time in that braking zone now. Got quite close to Gareth there. into the hairpin late in the brakes so I do manage to make up the time I lose elsewhere uh, alongside Gareth there a bit um, so I'm thinking if I, I can ever make a pass on him that's probably the place I'll be able to do it um, see he's much quicker than me around Gerrard's um, into Edwin is the only other sort of main passing area Gerard, you'll see it pull away on me. He's quicker on the power out up there. I think this is the closest I get to making a pass here. I only try to go up in time. carries on for small laps, so I'm not going to show all of them. Here's Gareth getting alongside Gary Broughton, I don't know. Well, actually looks like he's ahead of him, but on the R7, it's just manages to get underneath him and doesn't manage to make a pass. But let's get me a little closer to Gary, Gareth, Gareth on the orange bike. I catch a pulse neutral and must lose what? Three quarters of a second and both bikes disappear into the distance as I'm revving away and going nowhere and that wrecked my race. So then well, we're on let's do lap nine of a ten lap race. So never gonna catch him so I'll go as fast as I can. They now got to the distance. Uh, so that section there where I turn left, I mean, I've got the um, false neutral is the devil's elbow. And um, the place where you need to change gear, it makes it difficult. You've got a short shift because once you get leaned over, it's difficult to access your gear lever. Quite often, don't tap it quite hard enough or I'm touching my toe with my boots on the ground as to lean over left. Um, so I've done it yeah, a few times, I've got false neutrals there. And then I think this, yeah, so that there's a race leader that's just come past me and I will see the check the flag. So I got lapped. 
<coughs> well, 200 yards from the end, and there is the result. Uh, Phil Joyce, eighth in Mini Twin, just behind Gareth. Make a shout out. Thanks for watching.